Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoyney, aka Massage Nerd. And today we have Pete Whitridge uh, from the Alliance for Massage Therapy Education. And we all, we'll, we'll both be interviewing Eric Stevenson. Welcome, Eric. Thank you, it's great to be here, Ryan, and hello, Pete. Thank you for being here. And um, are you excited about the Educational Congress on Congress in July of 2015? Yeah, it's really amazing that this is going to happen. I know it's been a long time coming and, you know, in the spirit of our profession to have all these groups come together is really an amazing thing. So July uh, seems like a long way away, but uh, it'll be here soon. And, and it's the nice thing is I live in Minnesota, so that's the one good month out of the year. So, yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> part when they plan that. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you envision the future of massage and body work? Well, you know, I think we're at a really interesting juncture right now. As massage continues to expand and grow, we also see uh, problems with attrition as well as attraction and retention of therapists. So one of the things that I'm really passionate about is helping therapists prolong their career. It's the whole reason that I started uh, my company, I Massage Inc. with Deborah Kerner back in 2006. And it's one of the reasons that I partnered with Elements Massage so that we could really address this problem and contribute to the longevity of massage therapists going forward. So I see that as being one crucial issue. The other thing that's really encouraging to me is how ubiquitous massage has really become. You know, I travel so much and I see so many different uh, ways that we can receive massage, whether it's an airport at a spa or a true destination spa or many thousands of you know, private practices all over the country. In fact, I've got a massage scheduled this afternoon at a private practice here in the town uh, that I'm visiting. So those those two things, I think, are at the forefront of my mind. Beautiful, beautiful. And, and you're uh, offering a presentation on the Wednesday uh, for uh, Compto. And I would love for you to tell us a little bit about your presentation and what uh, they think people would like to take away from that. Yeah, so the name of the uh, presentation is Massage Franchise a Dirty Word. And in talking with uh, C.G. Funk from Massage Envy, and just in my travels you know, around the country, I think that massage has changed a lot since probably the three of us have gone to massage school and many people that are listening. Uh, you know, the, the career has really evolved, the profession has evolved. And I think along with that, there's been some uh, growing pains in terms of how massage is being delivered. And, you know, I think a lot of times the franchise model is really misunderstood. Uh, so really the objective of the presentation is to bring everybody together and say, here's who we are from an individual standpoint in terms of the different franchises. Here's what we have in common. And we'd like to share that with you so that you're aware of what we are doing and the facts behind what we're doing, but also get your input. So how can we make this better? We need to hear from you directly in ways that we can immediately implement and go back to our studios and our clinics and have some best practices maybe that we haven't thought about before. So I think that having everybody in the room will be a great opportunity for us to um, you know, state our case and let everybody know not just what we do business-wise, but what are higher purposes in the world? What are we really trying to accomplish and, uh, you know, that's a powerful thing. I think that's something we all have in common. So hopefully it's educational as well as, um, you know, an ability to share best practices. Beautiful. Yes, definitely. And um, one of the final questions, so what advice do you have for new therapists, teachers, or volunteers? I think especially for new therapists, I would encourage them to get a mentor. I think it's really important first coming out of the gate to find somebody that can really help you develop. And I know just personally for myself, that's one of the most rewarding things at this stage of my career is really helping people along the path. And I think that, you know, research shows that the single biggest predictor of your happiness as a human being is your social support network. And I think that that's really important for therapists coming into the profession because they go through massage school and they have this wonderful group that they spend a year with, and then they go out into the world. And unless they're in a group practice, many of them suffer uh, from isolation and struggling with business practices, ethical concerns. So I think that mentorship is really important. Um, and I also think that's one of the beautiful things about the Congress is this sense of community that we're all coming together. 
Yes, definitely. And the first time I met you um, was at the AMTA National Convention in Minneapolis. Remember that? Yes, I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> 2010, I believe, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we're definitely looking forward to seeing you again and in the beautiful state of Minnesota. Absolutely. This this Floridian will be there. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Thank you both for the work that you do in the profession and uh, for inviting me here today. And I look forward to seeing you both uh, soon in Minneapolis or even sooner than that. Okay. Great. Thanks. Thanks for being here today, Eric. Take care. Take care. Thank you.